video is going to be a makeup tutorial, but it's gonna be a wee bit different. In this video, I used mostly new products. Most of the products I use, I haven't featured in a tutorial before, and a lot of the products are new products that just recently launched. So I thought this would be a really fun video to do for you guys, because it kind of gives you like a hand-on experience. Well, not really hands-on, because you can't touch it, but it kind of just lets you guys see how the products work, and um, yeah, because there's just been so many new products coming out, and I've recently gotten a lot of new makeup, so I really just wanted to use it all and see how I liked it, so I'm excited about this video. Um, one product that I was really, really, like, super excited about and wanted to try is this NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. It's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now, and so far, I really do like this product. Um, now, it's not... It's not like a BB cream or anything that you would think would be lightweight. Like, this sucker is full of coverage. You guys know that I have, like, blemishes on my face, and it literally covered every single thing up. Uh, and then I also got a chance to use the new contour powders from Makeup Geek, and I was really, really excited about these. I love them so much. Um, yeah, th they're really good, you guys. Like, I think you're seriously going to enjoy them. In the tutorial, I actually used one for a bronzer and then the other one for a contour because she does have warm shades and then also cool shades as well so I use the warm shade as a bronzer and then the cool shade as a contour so yeah you guys will definitely get to see all of that um, in the tutorial and another new product that I featured in the tutorial is the setting powder by Ruby Kisses a lot of you had questions about it when you saw it on my snapchat story so I wanted to put it in this video and I'm a little bit iffy about it I'm not sure if I really like it or not because I noticed when I first put it on that it seemed like it darkened up my under eye area and I don't want that area to be darkened I wanted to you know still have a highlighted look but when I first applied it it seemed like it darkened it up a little bit and you guys will probably see my reaction within the tutorial because I was kind of like what like no it's not supposed to be doing that like you're supposed to be making me look highlighted but um, I know one one question about this product was does it give you a flashback and I will say it does not give you a flashback because I have taken a lot of pictures today in this makeup and I didn't notice a flashback so that's always a great thing so no flashback but I'm not really sure how exactly I feel about it I probably have to use it a little bit more to give you guys a better review but my initial thought was like whoa this is making my under eye really dark and another product that I got to use in a tutorial that I was really excited about are um, these satin lip stains by ColourPop. I am so excited about these. So the color that I use is called Dopey, and these really put me in the mind of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks because they seem to be a little bit more moussey. But yeah, I really like them. I really like, um, you know, the original lip stains. I don't notice that they're dry or anything like that. A lot of people say that they're really dry, but the only ones that I notice are dry are the ones that are a little bit darker, which is kind of coming with darker colors. But yeah, I love these. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling because I could talk all day about all of these new products, but I am just going to go ahead and jump into the video. So we're gonna get started with brows and I'm using this new product from e.l.f. that I just recently purchased. And this is the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I'm using the shade Espresso, and I really like this. It's easy to work with, it glides on nicely and it's just an overall great product. And wearing it throughout the day, it just seemed to last all day. It didn't rub off or anything like that. And I would definitely say that this is comparable to um, the brow product that MAC has that's really similar to this and for the price you definitely cannot beat it I think this product is I'm not sure the exact price but I know coming from elf it's probably no more than five dollars so I really recommend it it's probably going to be one of my new go-to products for my brows um, I didn't feel in my brows with this product though I just did the outline and then went in with a brow powder to feel in the brows but um yeah I really really like this stuff I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're looking for a new brow product but um, I just continue doing my brows um, the normal way that I normally do them <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're going to begin on the eyes, and I'm using a NARS Smudge Proof Primer. This is definitely no newbie product to me. You guys know I've been using it for quite some time, and it's my favorite primer. You always want to make sure that you're using a primer before applying your eyeshadows because it's going to make your eyeshadow stay on longer and appear more bright and vibrant. For the eyes, I'm going to be using this new palette from Makeup Geek and Mini MUA, and I really like this palette. This was my first time using it. The first shade I'm applying to the crease is called Sora, and I'm using this as my transition shade. And a transitional shade is just going to help the other eyeshadows you apply blend together better. So I highly recommend um, using a transitional shade. And normally. The next shade I'm applying is called Cosmopolitan and I am just putting this all over my lid area but we're not going to take it all the way to the end. We're going to leave a little bit of space there to apply another eyeshadow but this color is really, really gorgeous. It puts me in the mind of the Makeup Geek Fold eyeshadows. It's really vibrant and it goes on really, really nicely. Next shade I'm applying is called Mars, and this is a red burgundy kind of shade. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm applying this to the outer portion of my lid area. I'm just packing on that shade, and then I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush, and I am going to drag that shade into the crease area like I'm doing here, and I'm just blending it out, and you wanna make sure that you just blend until there's no harsh lines. And I am adding a little bit of additional product just so the eyeshadow can distribute evenly, but not too much, just a tiny bit to help it spread across the crease area. And here I'm just going over everything with a fluffy brush to blend it out. And I applied a little bit more of that Sora eyeshadow that I used as a transitional shade and it's just helping blend all the colors out. Now I'm going to go in with the color Insomnia and this is a gorgeous color as well. It's kind of like a brown shade but it has a little bit of purple to it. So I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I am just putting this shade in my V area and I am going to bring it into the crease area but I'm not going to bring it too high because I don't want to cover the red burgundy shade that we applied earlier. Now I'm applying some mascara to my lashes. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have used this mascara before, but in a sample size, and it seems to be pretty good mascara. However, I'm not really using it today to lengthen my lashes. I'm just using it to prep my um, real eyelashes for the fake eyelashes. And I'm using two pair of Coco lashes. I'm using the Risqué lashes and the Soho lashes, and I just doubled these up and they just give you a very long va va boom lash. Now we're gonna begin prepping our face and I'm starting off by using this primer from e.l.f. and it's a tone adjusting primer. Now I don't really know if I noticed much of a difference in my tone but it did make my skin feel really smooth which is always nice and it didn't seem to have like a very loud fragrance or anything like that. So now I'm going to go in with a second primer and this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer which I thought this product was amazing. This was my first time using it and really no complaints you guys. It is a really great primer. I will say it does have a little bit of a medicated fragrance to it but it you can definitely get over it the next product that I'm using is also a new product and this product is from NARS It's their velvet matte skin tint now when I first started applying it I was like whoa this is really really orange because as you guys can see like it's almost like oompa loop oompa loompa status but once I blended everything out it seemed to um, really match my shade. It didn't seem to oxidize throughout the day or anything like that and um, It just seems like a great product now. I don't think that it is lightweight It does give me full coverage as you guys can see it is covering up every spot and dot that I have 
and I'm using the Makeup Geek Stippling Brush to apply it. But I really like the product overall. I've worn it a couple of times since I filmed this video and it's a really, really nice product. So I didn't have a new under eye concealer that I could use for this video. I was going to use my Makeup Forever one that I featured in the haul video, but it was entirely too light. So I'm just using one of my favorites. Um, I love this concealer. I just apply it under uh, my eyes, on my forehead, and also on my chin area. And I like this concealer because it's lightweight, but it gives you coverage it gives you a lot of coverage so it's a really great concealer i love it for highlighting and after you apply your concealer you want to make sure that you always set it so it doesn't crease and today i'm using a product that's new to me um, this is the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder. Now, when I first applied this, like I told you guys earlier, it seemed like it darkened up my under eye area. So, I was a little kind of taken back by that because I wasn't sure about it. But I'm definitely going to use this product a little bit more and give you guys a better um, review about how I feel about it. I will say it did not give me a flashback in um, photos. I took a lot of photos when I... Um, did this makeup but I didn't notice a flashback so you know it does the job next thing I'm going to be doing is bronzing up my face and I'm using a new makeup geek contour shade and this one is in um, half hearted that's the shade name and I'm using this as a bronzer because it is a warm shade she has warm shades and also cool shades so I thought I would use the warm one as a bronzer because I like a little bit of bronzer to my face just so it can warm up the skin now I'm going to go back in with another one of her contour shades and this one is a cool tone. It's in the shade Scandal and I am just using this in the hollows of my cheeks for a contour and I love these contour shades you guys. They are really amazing. They're very very pigmented so it does not take a lot and I just I think they're great I think she did a really really great job with creating these so definitely check them out they're really affordable which is always a plus and after applying the contour I just go back and blend everything out so that there's no harsh lines and then I'm also going to contour my nose as well And for the blush, I'm using this new palette from e.l.f. I really like this, you guys. Um, the colors are really vibrant. They didn't seem to give me a lot of fallout, so nothing bad to say about it. I definitely give it two a thumbs up. I love the shade range. Um, now I'm going in um, with my L'Oreal Sickle Seam Liner, and I'm applying it to my waterline, which, no newbie, but it's one of my favorites. It's a really great liner. And I'm going back in with a shadow from the Manny and Makeup Geek palette. And I am just blending that under my lash line just so it'll be a little bit smoky. And I'm applying a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. And this is the same mascara from earlier. Now for my highlight, I'm using a new highlighter from Gerard Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Dorothy and I thought it was really, really gorgeous. So it's kind of like a golden topaz color. It's really, really beautiful and I applied a little bit of Fix, Fix Plus to my brush just so it would make the highlighter be a little bit more vibrant and gleam a little bit more. So yeah, I really love this highlighter. I do have a discount code where you can get 30% off Gerard Cosmetics. So I'll have that listed below with all the other links and stuff as well. Now we're going to start on the lips and I'm using a new lip um, product from ColourPop. And this is one of their Ultra Satin products that they just came out with but um, I'm starting off by lining my lips and the liner I'm using is from MAC and it's in the shade Soar and I'm going to go in any day now here I'm going in with the um, ultra satin lip stain I think it's a lip stain I'm not sure but yeah I like these they are really really nice 
right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know how you feel about like these new product tutorials. And I'll definitely do more if you like them. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then do so so you can see more of my face. Again, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.